This video is sponsored by Sony, which is the whole reason I went to San Diego in the first place. And uh, it was quite an adventure. <laughs> So I am officially uh, traveling. I'm in San Diego right now for a very secretive shoot with Sony. We're filming all day tomorrow at the biggest skate park in San Diego and definitely the most popular one. The one that pretty much everyone comes to San Diego to skate if they are skaters. San Diego is so beautiful and truthfully this is my test run to actually start traveling again because it's been like two years and I've been kind of anxious about it. Uh, you know, since something happened in the world that made everything disastrous. So now that I'm finally in California and I'm finally working again in a bigger sense, I'm getting heavily inspired to try to do lots of plannings around bigger trips. But for today, uh, I never plan pretty much anything on the day I arrive to new places. I usually dedicate that day, like today, to doing whatever I want. I have just found a pirate ship. I was not planning on skateboarding today, but I can never resist the urge. So again, the entire point of the shoot was for this speaker. There were three different creators and each of us got a different speaker to showcase and basically be the commercial four. This one is the XE300 and it's designed to be able to grab and go, which obviously is why they picked me, the skateboarder, to showcase this exact one. It's upside down. This exact one. Now, I filmed a lot, too much, but I essentially wanted to explore the Asian side of San Diego since it's an incredibly diverse city. So I just went to Tokyo Central, which was just a bunch of stores full of Japanese things. And then I explored the main Asian street in San Diego, which was Convoy Street. I got to Convoy Street. I'm standing at the intersection. Not completely sure which direction to go, but I feel like that way. Now I forgot what this this snack was called, but this is a 100% authentic reaction. This may have been the most delicious thing I've ever had in my entire life. My mind was blown, my belly was full, and my muscles are huge. Now it was a long, fun, fulfilling day, and the whole reason I even documented as much as I did is because I was really anxious about the shoot that was happening the next day, and this is how I calm myself down. I end up just working a lot. So I was like filming and be like, I'm being productive. In reality, I was just trying to distract my brain. And I did that, you know, all the way up to the end of the day. But the the worry, the anxiety, all of it was completely unfounded because, well, the next day was incredible. <laughs> Before we get into the juicy bits of the next day, let's talk about this speaker. It's dust proof, it's waterproof, it is shock proof. So essentially it's the perfect speaker for someone who does what I do, a skateboarder, someone who, with that grab and go lifestyle. My AC's turning on now, oh that feels good. It has up to a 24 hour battery life and you can use it for meetings and calls. It's $200, I absolutely think it's worth it. It's so good to actually use it on sessions like I have recently instead of headphones. It's like being in a car, you just, you like the music to play out loud and be around you more than just always being kind of contained into your own little world. And obviously it's great when you have the homies on the session, you all can just enjoy it together and, and, and vibe. Let's be honest, it's Sony. They have the resources to make tremendously good products like this Bluetooth speaker so check it out i'll link it down below but let's get to this this film day the actual film sony commercial day okay so we just jumped straight into it uh this whole team was there for this commercial but what's sick is the dude filming me was a very good rollerblader the other filmer was a mountain biker and my main contact on the shoot filmed skateboarders at woodward he was friends with a bunch of my friends in fact i think i've met him before anyways linda vista skate park thirty-four thousand square feet it cost about 3.8 million dollars to build obviously worth the investment especially in a place like San Diego with mad amount of skateboarders. Now, 
like always, I did some research on this park. The beginning process did not go super well. When the concrete was finished, skaters were told they had to wait another 90 days before skating for the plants in the skate park to grow. Even some locals were calling cops, making up stories about skaters, well, like stabbing people and using hammers to vandalize, only to realize that those things just didn't happen. But these calls did instigate more police patrol in the area, and the skate park hired security to stop skaters. It was technically trespassing, and it's one of those weird things, building a skate park so skaters stay out of the streets, only to have them trespassing into the skate park. But of course, cities are building the skate parks so that the skateboarders are staying out of the streets. It's not like a completely selfless thing, but it is cool. It kind of works for everyone. But of course, once it opened, all the security guards were gone, and skateboarders were just free to come and go and skate and fun. <laughs> an insanely fun time. I mean, with making YouTube videos, you're not used to having these big crews filming you. So sometimes it feels like it's totally not you. You're like, oh my gosh. And, and I've been on big shoots before that have not gone well. They've been really awkward and, and it's just a strange dynamic to see it's more like businessy and you're like, I can handle this myself. But everyone played their part so well. And I guess it was technically a smaller crew compared to how usual big commercial type things happen. And I just got along with everyone super well. It was just like, I was totally in my element in that situation. And sometimes I forget that I am not just like this, I'm very introverted and I realize that I can be as extroverted as I need to be. And sometimes it's even really fun and makes me feel really good, which is why I drunkenly ranted for four minutes to the camera afterwards, but I'm not, I'll spare you. It's just, I was like in such a good headspace afterwards. And uh, yeah, it was, it was great. I know this video was pretty random. It was just, it, I filmed it a while ago and we had to wait to put out the footage until the actual speaker, the product was out. But I had a great time and I and I do hope you enjoyed enjoyed the content. But I also want to show you the commercial that we filmed, so I'm gonna go ahead and play that now. I'm stoked on it. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed it and that's it. I'll see you every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video on this channel and probably a random video on Saturdays. I've been doing a lot of shorts that I've just been uploading. So stick, stay tuned for all that uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much. Take care, progress daily and keep killing it.